Here we go. Here we are again with another unboxing with a print. Prince. Um, everyone's pretty sure everyone is shit. Five, four, three, two. Hello, welcome to another unboxing by Akuma Prince. I'm sure everyone, or at least most everyone, is familiar with the Sure Shot that's for the PlayStation Move. Well, there are a variety of other guns that you can buy to simulate different things and uh, handle differently, things like that. This one is a sniper rifle gun, um, as it says right here, for PlayStation Move. Um, I have never seen any other guns other than the sure shot and some of the smaller handgun style. This is the first gun that's like the sure shot that I've seen. Now I got this on Amazon and that's also where I've seen all the others. They have a sawed off shotgun, uh, there's a submachine gun, there's like Tommy guns, uh, sniper rifles, I mean, you name it, whatever kind of gun you can think of, they probably have a move gun controller for it. So, let's get started here. Um, as you can see here, it says, Features, Supports, the PlayStation Move Controller, suitable for a variety of combat titles, highly customizable body configuration, also allows support for the PlayStation Move Navigation Controller. Uh, and as you can see here in the picture, apparently the um, stand that connects right here also can be removed to add on the move controller or that converts somehow to hold the move controller uh, one way or another we'll find out when we get this thing open here uh, now this package includes the sniper rifle body attachable muzzle attachable stock attachable scope the bipod attachment and the navigation navigation controller cradle okay so let's go ahead and open it up here I've already taken the precaution of cutting the seals but have not opened it so this is the first time looking at it same as everybody who's watching this video let's see there it is packaging wise it seems decent uh, it didn't seem to fare too well in the shipment unfortunately as long as everything inside the case is fine then I don't really mind I just like to sure shot it does come in pieces. Instruction booklet on how to put it all together. Alright, so we have the stock part right here. And uh, pretty standard. Uh, this does not look like it remaps the buttons for the move controller like the sure shot does. But uh, truthfully, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I have the sure shot, and truthfully, I did not like it that much. It didn't really seem to handle too well. So, we'll see how this one fares in some games here in a little later. There's the shoulder rest. The muzzle. And I was right, it does have two separate things. There's the bipod and the cradle for the navigation. And a fairly realistic looking scope uh, that even has lenses from what it looks like. You can look in there. So that's actually pretty cool. It has uh, the lens. And that's it. And other than that, it looks like it just snaps together. Uh, that said, uh, might as well just go ahead and piece it together here for everybody. Put the scope on last. There's a little switch right here. Pretty much locks that into place. 
Now I will go ahead and put the uh, bipod stand on it for now. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, there's that. Muzzle. It's pretty straightforward putting it together. There's the muzzle. Now, just one last piece the scope. Let's see. The shade part always goes on the front. And there we have it. Now, I do see one thing I might, that I might complain about, and that's the scope. Um, does not seem to stay on there very tightly. That may be something I can adjust because there are some screws right here. So I can probably tighten that down a little bit, but as of right now, as you can see, it just kind of flops around. But it might stay in position good enough for you to play a game. I mean, it's not like you're actually going to war with this. And that's it. And, of course, there's the navigation controller. Now, of course, when you go to use this, you would just pop this down like that. Set it down like this. And just look through the scope and pull the trigger and shoot at your enemies on the screen. Now, the reason I like this is um, I know the SureShot has a, a piece for a scope attachment. And then they have a scope out right now that you can buy. But when it first came out is when I bought mine and it didn't have a scope. So aiming um, wasn't tricky, but... It was definitely different because uh, the fact there was no scope. I mean, he did have like some standard sights along the top body, but that was pretty much it. Okay, well that is the sniper rifle. It's basically just um, a big plastic box that you put your move controller in, but still, it's something that would help you in the long run when playing shooters that are move compatible. That concludes the video for today on the Sniper Rifle Move Controller, and you have a good day.